Hello traders, FS Pip Collector here. Today is Monday, December 11th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So, on the Euro dollar monthly, I still think this is the end of a correction right here. I still believe this is going to end up turning into a big uptrend. I think, still believe this is a 1 2, and we're going up for a wave 3, which will most likely go up to around the 161% Fibonacci extension of wave 1, projected out the bottom of wave 2. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I mean, we have been going down very strong, as you can see, but I still believe that this push up over here is a 1. I still believe that this is an expanding flat wave 2, and I think we are in the very early stages of a wave 3, which I believe is going to end up looking at least something like that. So keeping all that in mind, let's head down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, like I said, the euro has been very weak. I have my Fibonacci retracement on the last series of higher highs, higher lows. We are sitting right at the 50% Fibonacci level. We do have what looks like a trend going down, especially on the sort of time frames, which normally would make me think that it would be a wave A, and then this would be a wave B, and then it would make a wave C, before it actually ended up continuing the uptrend. But because of correlated pairs, and because we have a lot of very, very big news coming out this week for the US dollar, I do still suspect that this is a correction, but it may be a motive wave correction, and once it goes up and breaks struts, we probably are just going to keep on trending up. So going down to the 4 hour time frame, like I said this is definitely definitely a downtrend right here as you can see it is for sure a series of lower lows lower highs the whole way down. So this is definitely a trend which like I said if it does break structure then that's going to be what I think is going to be a motor wave correction and if it does end up continuing the uptrend then we definitely want to continue to look for longs at the end of pullbacks now since we do not have a break of structure up yet there's no proof at all that this move is to the upside is actually the continuation of the uptrend this very easily could make a lower high lower high and just keep on trending down so for me, until it actually goes up and breaks struts, I would definitely be looking for sorts on shorter time frames. Going down to the one hour time frame, like I said, this struts a break right here will tell us that we're going up. We definitely do not have a struts a break yet, so that tells me that this move up could be a question to this move down. So if we see some sort of a three way pattern up, if we see an impulsive move down, then I would definitely take that as a sort for the continuation of the downtrend. Like I said, on the other hand, if it does decide to just keep on going up and eventually it does decide to break struts, structure like this then at that point I would become a buyer again and I would definitely be looking for longs at the end of pullbacks hopefully for the continuation of this uptrend so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading